It's been dubbed the iPhone of its time, and a century later, the portable fountain pen is making a comeback. Millennials have taken to pens like they have to wristwatches and vinyl records, opting to handwrite to-dos instead of using an app. The process of going through and writing and planning what we're going to be doing next week allows them to prioritise in their mind, this is what I need to work on. Research confirms people remember better when writing over typing. That's no surprise to the Clays who moved to Whanganui to open one of a handful of New Zealand specialist pen shops. A lot of people still think better onto a piece of paper. How many times do you write your shopping list? Forget it when you go to the supermarket, but you can still remember what was on there. Pens range from a few dollars to a few thousand, but for enthusiasts, it's not just about the pen. I like to use bright colours in, in my pens, so I've got, I've got two pens that I use every day. One's got a bamboo green and one's got bright orange, because why do you use a pen with a boring colour in it? We've got about 30 odd different types of orange, so the increasing popularity of handwriting has seen pen sales rocketing since 2010 when Pat started Inked Online. And despite these digital times, calligraphy is still in demand. The fancy writing um, when you're making the squiggles, that's called flourishing. And it kind of flourishes the image as well in the document and gives it a bit of character. Um, you can type things all day long, but it, it'll ne you'll never be able to duplicate something that personal. So the universities still use calligraphers. Official documents still have in-house calligraphers. It can also be a zen way to relax. It's similar to knitting, it's similar to crochet, it's similar to um, painting or any of the arts. It's even a little bit like mowing the lawn, because when you're finished, you're able to see the product and you can kind of just focus on what you're doing for a minute and, and not on everything else you need to do. While a specialist pen shop may seem more of a big city venture, it was moving to the provinces that allowed the Clays to open their dream store. In Auckland, because you're dealing with major corporates that are the landlords, they want a 10 year lease. So when we set this up, we didn't know, is it going to work? And so far, so good. To have, to have the physical presence in addition to the online, our online has grown a lot since we have had the physical store. Ink is open Monday to Saturday and also runs calligraphy classes throughout the year. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.